I can measure this blade. There's a nice little pit I can measure, right? This one is only 15 thou deep, right? But typically your corrosion allowance on pipe would be anything less than 10% is cause for a reject. So 10% of that is not much. This yeah. is about not even a quarter inch wall. So 10% is 25 thou. I said this in indication was 15 thou, so that's virtually rejectable. All these would cause it to be thrown away. This was caught by a smart pig, which is a multi-million dollar investment and it'll tell you about where it is. So then they do a dig. They expose the pipeline, dig it up, send people in with ultrasonics to measure the depth, the wall thickness. They find these, they cut a piece out. It'll be a full length. They'll cut up 40 feet, get a new piece prepared and shove it in and mold it. Okay. And that little, you know, all that's gonna rely on a $200 pit gauge to go like that. Because they found it but they don't have a great way of resolving how, how deep it is. That's why you need a pit gauge. They're now, you could scan this with a laser, right? Mm -hmm. And the laser would tell you, how accurate is it? Sorry, it's not accurate enough mm -hmm. because you have different shines. Mm -hmm. a, la a laser works great on a flat black surface, mm -hmm. but when you have shininess and different light concentrations, mm -hmm. lasers is no good, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the human eye can see it, but you have to remember a lot of guys for years would go, oh, you know, that's bad, we better replace it. They didn't have an absolute device to measure the depth of it, right? Mm -hmm. right? Now, here's the problem with using a gauge like that, even though it was my first design, pipe is not round and it's not straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, when this was cut, it was rolled and it was hydro tested, which made it filled with pressure and it was reasonably round and reasonably straight. But now we put it in the ground, we do corrosion all sorts of places, we cut it in half, it's opened up so it's no longer round, and I can guarantee you that it's bowed like this or bowed like that. It's no longer straight. Um, I'll tell you that, and it's not gonna be easy, but you can see how I have this flexible, right? I like them that way. But if I were to um, put this in a flat, tighten up all those fasteners and put it here, you'd see that it's not straight. In fact, I can see it goes like this. Don't ask me why, I just see it. Anyway, do you see that too? Oh, and look at that, it's corrosion over here, artificial corrosion. <laughs> yeah. See, most pit gauges where I make my money, you can see it, right? This one, it's after the fact. So to have a bridging pit gauge on an inside surface is a waste of time, mm -hmm. you know? Because you can, you can see where you're measuring, right? Mm -hmm. You can see whether you need a longer one or not. And in a segment like this, you know, it's gonna be both. You put a pipeline in the ground and it follows the lay of the land. You put it there for 30 years and you dig it out. I can guarantee it's taken the lay of the leg of the land as a resting position. It's no longer straight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my dad taught me that pipe is no longer straight or round. You know, there's what's what's a straight, flat, a granite block that you pay five or six hundred dollars for. We have a couple of them around here. We're diagonally, they're about twenty-four inches for a pit gauge, right? And they're granite, so they're certified to be one thou. This from one end to the other, as far as straightness goes, I can guarantee it's probably ten thou and in diameter. From what it was originally, I can guarantee it's probably more like a quarter inch out, bigger or smaller. Depends on the residual stress in the pipe. So there you go. Is that uh, the dimension of the pipe that they put down? No, well, they could be any size. This is a small one. This is what, about, um, which size is that, Dad? 10 inch? 12, you think it's 12? 10 or 12. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say it's 10. Okay, mm -hmm. but you can have a pipe commonly made up to 40, 48 inches, very, it's kind of the biggest size they use in North America. Mm -hmm. However, you go to uh, Russia when they built those twin gas lines, those were twin 56s into Europe. They have twin a twin gas line that runs from Russia into Europe and to preside the natural gas. And that, when those pipelines are flowing, 
They're 56-inch ID and thousands of miles long.